don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much you work on yourself. There are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. It may be your business. It may be your heart that is broken today. It may be the number in your bank account that is screaming, you are broke. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. What direction is your attitude taking you in your marriage, in your relationships? Are you kind, respectful, fun to be around? In your career, are you positive, being your best, helping others? Or do you need to make an adjustment? Don't wait till it's too late, till the relationship comes to an end, till the company says they don't need you anymore. Make the changes now. Get rid of anything you know that's holding you back. Being negative, finding fault, that old attitude doesn't smell good. It's going to taint you everywhere you go. Now, there's only two things you have to know to really make things happen big in your life. Number one, you have to know where you are. And number two, you have to know where you're going. A person who's willing to just take it easy, do whatever comes natural, don't have any real goals in life, don't strive for anything. Part of the reason that is that people are lazy. They want the easy way out. You've accepted that your dream's not going to happen. You'll never get well. You'll never get out of debt. As long as you think that way, it will limit your life. I'm asking you to pull up your stakes, pack up your belongings. Mediocrity is not your home. Good enough is not your destiny. Getting by is not where you belong. You may be there now, but that is not your permanent location. At some point, we have to look in the mirror and say, maybe I'm the one that needs to change. Maybe I've developed a habit of seeing what's wrong rather than what's right. We've got to take a good, honest look at ourselves. What am I doing? What works? What doesn't? Who am I? And as we really get a grip on this, everything in our world will begin to change. Because every time you break, and in every way that you break, wow, it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart. But there's also opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, if you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. Not over till I win. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. That's, that's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen.
that you have got to to own what it is that you want to do if it's taking care of your well-being if it's making a difference in our school system if it's working with senior citizens if it's to protect our ecology if it's to create an economic renaissance if it's just to take yourself to another level it's you you've got to make that happen we can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down but ultimately it's on us what's going on everybody it's your boy nerd coming at you one more time in the dungeon you know every couple weeks maybe once a month or so i'll play that i made that a few months back it's my motivational speech sometimes it's for you guys other times i think i play it for myself you know we all have different reasons for why we get up in the morning and get out of bed and sometimes no matter how hard it is you just gotta push through and get up out of that bed put two feet on the floor and just go and there's a million 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 reasons not to I could give you every excuse in the book on why not to on why to settle for that job or settle for that woman or man or settle for that income or settle for that debt or settle for that education or settle for that apartment or sell it for that beater car I can give you a million reasons to settle and to take it just take what's given to you like a dog just eat what's in your dish and go lay down by your bowl and wait for your master to come home. Might give you a million reasons. And they're all good. Boy, are they all believable. You're ugly. You're stupid. You don't have this. You don't have that. It's easier. Or it's too hard. They all make sense. But if you really are going to be honest with yourself, and you're really going to look yourself in the mirror, I don't even know who I'm talking to. I am probably the most unpopular YouTube streamer. The odds of anybody even watching this right now is remote. But, as I've said from day one, this is my therapy. Getting in front of this camera and this light and in front of this console with this controller and microphone in front of me, it's a therapy for me. See, I don't accept what's been put in my bowl. I'm not going to go lay down by my dish and wait for my master to come home. There's a million reasons to not stream. There's a million reasons to not do anything. If you want something bad enough, you'll do it. Now before we get started tonight, I got one, one thing I want my people that are out there watching this right now, and if you're watching this live, thank you. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, just watching the stream replay, thank you again. Make sure you hit that like button. I'm going to tell you guys right now that I have a little project I want you to do. I want you to do this, and if you can do this, great. 
more power to you. For those of you that are parents out there, have children. Maybe they're two, three-year-old kids. Maybe they're teenagers. Maybe your kids are grown and they're already out of the house. I want you to go in the bathroom. Look yourself in the mirror. Don't say anything. Just, just look yourself in the mirror. All alone. Shut the door. Look yourself in the mirror. And I want you to say the first thing that comes out of your mouth about yourself. I want you to look yourself in the mirror, honestly, when you're all alone. Look yourself dead in the eye and say the first thing that comes to mind about yourself. Then I want you to leave that bathroom and I want you to go up to your kid and I want you to say the same thing you said to yourself to your kid. If you can't do it, if you can't do it, then you've settled. And there's something in your life that you need to change. With that being said, guys, my name is Nerd. Welcome to the dungeon tonight. It is Wednesday Assassin's Creed night. We're playing our playthrough. We're still on Assassin's Creed 1. Still working on it. Um, I've made the stack of Assassin's Creed games that much bigger now. Um the brevity of what I have to go through what is before me is amazing um, I have to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Assassin's Creed titles um, yeah <laughs> but you know what so far what I have played has been one night worth of Assassin's Creed, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. Chat enjoyed it. It's a little bit of nostalgia um, for people that are people that have played it already, uh, and that are watching me play it for the first time. Kind of get to live a little vicariously through me watching me play it and tell me how I'm fucking up, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, it has its pros and cons, you know, when you have a question, you can just ask chat. But also, chat has a tendency to spoil things sometimes. But, <laughs> irregardless, it's fun. We're going to continue right now. And you know what? It's been two weeks since I streamed it. I don't even know if I remember the goddamn button configurations. But we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Hopefully pick up where we left off. I vaguely remember trying to 100% a certain section. So, we'll check it out. Continue. Didn't I just hit the continue button? Why do I gotta continue a continue? When you have been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight and try to hide them. Hey, fuck you loading screens. Is there no... I don't think there was a jump button, is there? Do that again and I'll split you in two. You're gonna split shit in two, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you punk motherfucker. Blending in. Well, but obviously English 
Vigilantes. Yeah, I'm supposed to be. Yeah, that's right, the memory log. Okay. Eavesdropping. Turn to the bureau leader. I like how they just don't, they still don't notice me walking around in a fucking assassin's uniform. Assassin's Bureau. Oh, there's a fucking ladder. Well, friend, I'm sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? <laughs> Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al-Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. That's when I'll strike. I leave to go. I'll assassinate him because I'm an assassin following a creed. That I broke on my first mission. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Ooh. I'm well rested. Tamir is with the suit. Preoccupied with repairing a large shipment of weapons. This is time to strike. No, you dummy.
Not sure what my mission is, but... Take out all the guards, I guess? What's this say? Assassination. So what, just kill him? Assassinate Tamir. Okay, that's my mission. My good people, your search has come to an end. I have anything anyone could possibly need. Just have a look. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my clients. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Ooh. Now, tell he me, can eavesdrop one conversation across a crowded solve square. This problem of ours. These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! Damn! He knifed the... Fuck out of that guy. My Zook stood before my men and dared to insult me. No, leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Get back to work. Where'd he go? I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I beg of you. Where did you learn your crime? No, you don't understand. I have nothing. What the fuck? Damn, he's tough. When the animus shows you are being watched by an informed You, sir! You look like you need something. You'll find it I here. I beg of you! Sure. I beg of you just a few coins, day, please! No, please! No, please! No, please! Just a few coins! Never finding anything useful at the other merchant store. I beg of you. That won't happen. I beg of you. Absolutely perfect. Where did you learn your? Bitch, leave me alone. I'll 
kill you Bro, I can't handle this. I mean, I killed him, but I died. <laughs> Gotta be a better way. When you're out of knives, refill your stock on How the fuck do I kill this guy? Do I gotta take the guards out first? now my friend you'll not profit from suffering any longer you think me some petty death dealer suckling at the breast of war a strange target don't you think why me when so many others do the same you believe yourself different then oh but I am for I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit just like my brothers brothers ah but he thinks I act alone I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. No, well, for now you're the one destroyed. So. Fool! What are you doing, you fucking idiot? Come on, dude. Can you not fucking run or what, bro? Bro, this is ridiculous. I don't want to fight you, you stupid fox! Bro, this bitch doesn't get off in front of me. Yo, what up, Chomper? Welcome to the stream.
Well, this dude really throws something at me. Yeah, because he doesn't know how to run up walls when he's fucking running from guys that want to kill him. Are you serious, dude? Just get up there, bro! Fight all you motherfuckers. This game is glitchy as shit. Get up there. Do it. How do you do that fucking jump thing again? Eh, never mind. I gotta wait for it to stop flashing and be red. Like, my health bar is red, I don't know. No way he tracked me down. Okay. Dang, how long do I gotta wait in here?
Go to the assassin's fucking headquarters. Figure this shit out. There we go. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malik. I'm certain he has more work for you. To Ooh, do. more work. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. The blood of a corrupt merchant. Got an achievement. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. I gotta go rest again? I'm in the showers. Does he use the toilet? Nope. Man, I can't even change my clothes. Hmm. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. Order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sir. Yes, we are.
Get on the fucking table, dude. Use throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. A bureau leader. Altair. It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Press and hold right trigger and press X when you see an enemy start an attack to perform a counterattack. Block would all trigger the fight. Perfect. easy. You must be busy. I understand. Can't draw my weapon? All right. I just <laughs> jump kick that bitch in the chest. Let's do it! Yeah.
I'm gonna go and fuck some shit up. I'm gonna go and fuck some shit up. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to. Kill indiscriminately. That's actually kind of cool. Go this way. Fuck you, dude. Palm tree out here. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, 
I'm like bumping into trees and shit because nerd can't fucking. Reach a checkpoint. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to maintain momentum. Show how I kill the whole gang of motherfuckers. Plenty of dead bodies of your buddies laying there. That's right, I saved your life, fucker. I killed like 80 dudes. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. This is an ill omen.
I gotta push the right stick in and line everything up. I'm just gonna walk with these monks right through the fucking gate. Don't mind me, just a monk in full assassin gear coming up through your gate. You just watched me murder like a dozen of your homeboys, but it's all good. Take any chances. All right, I'll hurry home. Where are you? Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. These are dark days indeed. Where's the fucking tower I gotta climb? Right there. Good one. There's a murderer who killed this person. Who such a the windows boot up screen <laughs> did he say damn he's buff <laughs> the assassin headquarters.
Bitch, get off of me. Damn, I gotta go all the way over there. took some damage. That's the first time I think I've really, really taken some fall damage. Hello, gods! Guards! A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospital, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather, and I'll see what I can find. Ooh. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There is an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. Where am I supposed to go now? Climb a viewpoint to locate them. Well, I guess I'll just do that one. That will cost you your life. Are you serious? You have no business here. Leave. Really? <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. Get up there. Mm -hmm. 
bet. Could you imagine if he just clipped his head on that fucking thing? I need this dealt with now. The ropes are eaten through with rot and must be replaced. If we wait any longer, we risk an accident. I understand, but what of the houses I'm supposed to repair? Never mind the citizens. What do they do anyway but cry and complain? It's the knights who sacrifice that the rest of us might live in peace. But they've nowhere to go, and the rains will come soon. I won't warn you again, boy. Do as you're told or you'll find yourself in irons. Yes, sir. First sensible words out of your mouth. You've got the plans now. Get to work. This stupid bitch asking me for money, bro? trigger and spam it. He ran like a bitch.
These guys don't learn. Whoop his ass. He said, you can't just kill someone. Oh shit, you can do that? I didn't know you could do that. Taking it all in. <coughs> what is that man thinking? Oh, I need help. Please. Need something to say? Anyone. What was that you caught in it now? Oh, hey, hey,
about Elaine? The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. My family business on my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Hmm. Tell you what, man, he gets a fucking workout. Stop asking me for money all the time. Bitch, I want to go through here. no coin to speak of just some damn tube all i found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings them's not nonsense but words and letters why is a man putting words and letters in a tube the waste of tube if you ask me must be important give it here and i'll have a look like you helped last time i ain't letting you steal this well i ain't you clever have fun with it then You got pickpocketed in an alley with only one other person and you don't know who did it. Altair? Altair? Okay, you mean Altair? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. 
I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Atka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What do you mean when I wake up? Run, bitch. Yay, I'm green. Yay. Oh no. God, beggar. <clears throat> Your presence annoys me. You've no reason to stand here. Leave. <clears throat> oh, I don't get it. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Shit, I'm in GTA and I got five stars, homie.
So I'm probably just gonna have to kill the guards at the front gate. Plus I don't see any other way into that fucking big ass temple this dude has. Sure as hell, I'm not jumping not that. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to go th right through the front door. Kai has a butcher's apron on. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all. Right. No. Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me. Not again. Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls. I saw. I saw. But not mine. No, you'll not have mine. Ah! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Damn! I am so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? Yeah, kill you. Today is better. What do you want? Only to help you. No, 
You want to hurt me? It's all you've done since you brought me here. You've no reason to be here. Leave now. This conversation shows that we've made progress. Oh, do you forget the way you were awake. It's you. And how does it feel to be whole again? I, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> it wasn't easy, I assume. No reason to be <laughs> here. Hard Leave now. Most do. <laughs> now it's not the hard part. Oh shit. I owe you my life. I'm yours to demand. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Thank you for letting me. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? I still don't understand where he is. Like, I can hear him below me. They say you can walk now. Impressive. Been so long. Almost forgot how wonderful. I don't understand. I don't understand either. Why did you help? that we're having this conversation shows that we've made progress. Or do you forget the way you once were? Remember before all a blur. Ah, it didn't come back in time. Yes. Oh, 
It wasn't easy, I assure you. You fought hard at first. Most do. But now it's done. The hard part's lost. I owe you my life. I'm yours to command. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Thank you for letting Got some moves. What, you can't do the fucking parry attack with him? Because he's like a boss or something? That's when fucking the stupid. Shows you are being watched by an informed. That's how you gotta get his ass. Let go your burden. Ah, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wills? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind, which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. What? And with my death, <coughs> Men and they will be again. You truly believe you are helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Okay, then. Yep, gonna fight my way out of this shit.
Get up there, fool. Shot at, and I can't do anything about it. What happened here? Huh. Oh, I'll get you. Even you'll pay dearly. Bitches. Fucking Assassin's Guild, motherfuckers. What news, Altai? Gagne is dead. Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Achievement! The blood of a doctor. Nice. <clears throat> When you have been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight and try to... Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne de Plus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings. 
Men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yeah. Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a god, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drugged you as Garnier did his men, and tempted you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Damn. Huh. Anyway, peeps, <clears throat> that's where we're going to wrap it up tonight. Like I said in the Discord short stream tonight, I gotta be up the crack of dawn, get the kids to school, get ready for work, and all that good happy horse shit. Tomorrow, Thursday night, we'll be back with Ark Survival Evolved over there on the private server. Uh, if you were interested in joining that private server for Minecraft, for Ark, for anything else that we're gonna do in the future, be sure to hit that Discord link down below and join the Nerd Dungeon Squad. Hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, and click that little join button down below. $5 a month, be a part of the dungeon, get access to all those cool perks, emojis in the chat, cool little badge next to your name, priority access to all my fucking chats, all my behind the scenes stuff, and of course, you get access to all of our private servers, such as our Minecraft Realm, our uh, Ark Survival Evolve private servers, Get on that right nizzle. If you're not interested, at least do me a solid. Hit that thumbs up button on the video. Hit me up on Twitter. Link down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow night. Peace.